Hello, my name is James Lee III, and it is a privilege to have received a commission by Kenneth Tompkins for the combination of trombone, flute, cello, and piano. I was not familiar with a work incorporating this combination of instruments. Before I thought about how I would approach composing this new chamber piece, I spoke about various possible sources of inspiration and Ken suggested paintings by three different, different African-American artists. And I ended up deciding to use a few paintings by Jacob Lawrence for my inspiration. I then entitled this new piece, Compelling Portraits. The specific paintings have to do with the migration series and a painting called Confrontation on a Bridge from Selma, 1965. The first movement, Migrations, includes elements of the blues in the harmonies and melodies. I have also partially quoted Dixieland as a signal that African-Americans were leaving it behind in search of a better life in the Northern states. The end of the movement ends with a kind of question mark. Movement two, bridge confrontation, is inspired by the painting Confrontation on a Bridge and begins with the intervals of a ninth, a sixth, and a fifth, which represent the year 1965. The fifth, incidentally, is actually an augmented fifth, so it's not a pure, perfect fifth, but the harmony represents kind of the anxiety that was occurring with all of the various events that happened in 1965, in particular, the march over the Selma Bridge. There are double stops that are present on the notes G and A in the cello part, which represent a steady march. The continued tension in this movement represents the African-Americans' apprehension and distrust of the Alabama State Police to be able to pass the bridge peacefully on the way to Montgomery, Alabama and not be molested or prohibited by the um, Alabama State Police in terms of bothering them and, and beating them and not allowing them to pass over on that bridge. There are moments of sadness and calm that are finally uh, represented and then interrupted with other materials that opened the movement that you will hear uh, in this particular uh, musical expression. In the last movement, surprising findings, many of the African-Americans that left the South expected to have a much better life in the Northern cities. But this last movement depicts a different and surprising reality. A slight quote of Dixieland is also present in this movement, even though the movement starts with a kind of cheerful but uncertain atmosphere. As the music continues to comment on the experience of the discrimination that occurred, it is decidedly darker in tone. And when it moves decidedly darker in tone, it starts to express a particular poignant lament or this lamentation. Then it tries to build into a cautious optimism. And as it moves forward in terms of a kind of hopeful sound, then it continues to move forward until the very end, which is still not quite a uh, resolved or a resolution that was is one of peace, but one that really tends to make one think about the work that still needs to be done in terms of uh, true equality for African Americans and for all people. I hope that you would truly enjoy compelling portraits. It was my pleasure to compose this work, and I hope that I will be able to hear it many more times in the future. Thank you.
Thank you.